I've loaded most of the tools in the trailer now. There's 22 of these bins that are now empty and everything is loaded into the drawers and the bins mostly on the left side, a little bit on the drawers on the right. Uh, this side here, this is just stuff that's going to find a place as I finish up the trailer. So that's next. Uh, the tall cabinet, and you remember in an earlier video I had built the cabinet and then I had shortened it. I took it and remodeled it. Well, I'm going to remodel it again. I'm not going to take it out, but what I want to do is I want to divide it vertically I want to put a narrow section as sort of a coat closet, broom closet. I want to have a, a dowel to hang my uh, rain suit and uh, carpentry pants, things that I want to just keep in the trailer so when I show up to the job I can uh, use them if I need them. And, uh, and, that, and the cabinet's plenty wide enough that I'll still have a good wide section for the adjustable shelves for material storage. So that's going to be up next uh, to build the divider for that. Uh, it will take uh, cutting the plywood. I'll fit it in so it'll be um, a little bit different dimension than the two sides. And I will bore the 32 millimeter space holes, the 5 millimeter holes that are spaced, and match them up with the existing holes. And uh, then I'll drill pocket holes around the edges to connect it in place. A couple of advantages to that, if I decide later that I don't want the coat closet, I can, I can pull that out and, and have the full-size cabinet, uh, or if I want to move it around a bit in the future. So uh, even though this is a, a remodel, I think the way that I'm going to end up with it being built is going to be preferable to having built it from the ground as, say, two separate cabinets. Uh, so anyway, on with that, and I'm pretty happy with the progress. Got a lot of tools in here. Still have a lot of space. Uh, my uh, early on, I mentioned I was I was in the market for an 18-foot trailer and ended up going with uh, the shorter 14-foot trailer, which was exactly the size of my previous one. This one being a bit taller um, really made a difference. Uh, it's a it's just taking all the tools in, and I'm really glad I went smaller. Uh, I wouldn't have gone any smaller than this, but having a, a compact trailer that hauls all my tools and materials that I need so I can be efficient on the job. I'm, I'm really happy uh, with this size. So on with remodeling the cabinet. I put a divider in the middle. Uh, it used to be just a wider cabinet, but I pocket screwed in this and went ahead and drilled the holes all the way through for the shelf pins. And then that narrowed up this side for these nice deep shelves that will pull out. And uh, I may add another shelf. I may adjust these some when I get all done, but for now they're, they're kind of set up. And that left me about nine inches of a broom coat closet, which is something I really wanted. I haven't had in my previous truction trailers, but I like to haul uh, my rain suit and a couple of pairs of carpenter's pants, uh, some construction clothing. It also gives me a broom closet. I, my, all of my brooms and dustpan and everything fit in here. So this gives me a nice space, gets it all out of the way, it doesn't take up that much room, and, it, and it's one of those cumbersome things that I would always put uh, the brooms kind of against the wall and it would tip down um, and the clothing would be folded up and lay it on a shelf. So. I like this better and also was able to put a hook right in the front side edge so my nail vest uh, can just hang right there. So this, this gives me a really nice space. I'm real happy with how this one turned out and I'm glad I kind of waited uh, until the end to sort of dial it in. Well things are moving along smoothly. I'm pretty excited about how the trailer is turning out. I'm looking forward to using it in the field. If you like these videos, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Click uh, right on the subscribe button here, embed it in the video or go on over to the Paul Combs uh, YouTube channel and uh, subscribe there. Also, if you could share these videos with others, that would be fantastic. One of the neat things that you can do if you um, go to, say, the Awesome Rolling Toolbox series and you click on it, it'll have all of the videos 
and you can then just click on the share button and just grab Facebook or Google or tweet it or whatever you know um, wh you know whatever your social media is uh, the other thing you can do is from there you can email it so it'll you can if you've got a couple people you want to email it to just put in their email address and it'll take them right to here you can do that same thing with the main page but if you want to share particularly this series that's a that's a nice way uh, to do it if you'd like to build one of these workbenches you see me using in these videos for yourself uh, click on the link right here It'll take you to the Paul Combs website, and from there you can click on the Paul Combs store. Once you get to the store, choose the plan or package of plans that interest you. And within a matter of just a couple of minutes, you will receive an email. At the bottom of the email, make sure you scroll to the very bottom. There is a link and a password, so the plans are yours to download immediately. You're not waiting on me to check the email and send it to you. They are right now. If you want the plans, go through here, and you can have them in just a couple of minutes. Thanks for taking the time to watch. Have a great day.